This is a cocktail drum kit that I bought a few years back as an experiment just to see what the thing sounded like. You, you couldn't tell until you actually bought one. I modified the unit by putting portholes in the front and the back. I'll describe that in a few moments. Now it's a real generic item from China. Uh, it does have a manufacturer's name on it which is Demavery. I'm sure that really doesn't mean very much. I've never heard of them in any other context and um, there we are, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I just bought it to play with and this is the layout then. Uh, a tiny snare drum, a small rack tom and then the main drum which is uh, 15 inch diameter and 25 inch tall. When I got it, it was just a single drum with a skin on either end of it. I've modified that and I'll talk about that in a few moments. I've also fitted the upper heads with uh, Remo fibre skin heads instead of the original single ply, whatever they were to start with. Now the snare drum is quite a sweet little thing. It's uh, only 8 by 5.5 inches. Uh, it's got a nice looking throw off there and a nice looking strainer underneath the thing. This is quite a, a loud little drum. I was quite surprised. Um, it's probably the best part of the whole kit. And then there's the small rack tom which is uh, 10 by 5. Um, not very interesting sounding. I've got a feeling when I put these fibre skin heads on and made the whole thing rather dull compared to its original uh, more ringy sound. So there we are. You live and learn, don't you? Um, there's the main floor tom or bass drum, doubles as both things. But uh, there's a lot of interaction between the top and the bottom. Uh, so I thought, well, I'd do something clever and stick a... Uh, septum wall in there. I don't think it was particularly clever uh, and you'll hear when we get to the sound check that uh, hasn't really improved the sound uh, very much. So I've got a couple of portholes there in the upper section which face towards the player and then uh, one single larger hole in the front uh, facing the audience. As if you would have an audience, probably not for this um, drum kit. And just have a quick look at the septum wall on the inside of it. Just quickly take off this uh, this upper head. Thanks to the magic of video. There we go. Uh, and uh, it's just a, a small plywood uh, septum wall in there. And you can see there's a bit of bracing on the uh, on the underside of it. Try and stiffen the thing up. It's probably about six mil thick. whole thing stands on a fairly standard uh, floor tom leg setup. And there are pins that go down at the side of it um, with uh, bends in them to support the outlying tom and snare. And you can adjust the position of those if you really wanted them to be flying out in the middle of nowhere like that, you could readily do it. And there's the symbol stacked on yet another one of these uh, pins uh, and held on by these uh, bushes, the uh, hi-hats just uh, stuck together. So here's a sound check, pin back your ears.
that's the paper thin symbol. sound is supposed to be like. Here's the bass drum pedal, it kicks vertically. And that's it. Thank you for watching.